Welcome to our Mass, our Easter service, uh, fourth, third Sunday of Easter. Please join in singing. Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. From your spirit. Welcome to our celebration this third Sunday of, Lent, of Easter. Again, just a reminder, you could tune in to, in your radio to listen to the audio uh, by tuning in to 106.5 FM 
Again, it's 106.5 FM. And also for those cars at the very back who could not see the altar because of any obstruction. Uh, you could also use your phone and uh, watch the live streaming. Uh, that way you could see what's going on in the sanctuary uh, for those uh, at the very back. Let us now prepare ourselves for this celebration by first acknowledging all our sins, asking God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. of spirit so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God 
forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death. But God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world the way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord.
be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous, for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds. He opened their minds to understand the scriptures and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ must suffer and rise from the dead and on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem you are witnesses of these things the gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be with you. In almost all resurrection appearances of Jesus, his first greeting to his disciples and to us is peace be with you. It seems that Jesus is giving such an importance to this greeting, and rightly so, because peace seems to elude our lives and our world. In the news, we hear about riots and protests against the police, racial tension and violence, mass shooting like the recent one in a FedEx facility in Indianapolis. In our own lives, our peace can easily be shaken by this pandemic, the fear of death, the instability of our jobs, worries about our family, our children, our health, tensions in our relationships, in our workplace or in the school. All these can easily shake our sense of peace. Peace is the resurrection gift of Jesus to us. However, what kind of peace does Jesus bring? In the Gospel of John, he says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. 
not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. In the Gospel of Luke, before the crucifixion, Jesus was greatly troubled and in distress in the Garden of Gethsemane. His soul is sorrowful, was sorrowful even to death. Yet he embraced his condemnation and death sentence at the hands of the high priest, the Pharisees, Pilate, and the crowd with such peace and serenity. Isaiah prophesied that Jesus, like a lamb, was led to the slaughter, yet he was silent and opened not his mouth. Jesus embraced his cross with such serenity and peace in his heart. This peace and serenity which Pilate, the high priest Caiaphas, the Pharisees, the Romans, and the Jews could not give nor take away Jesus had because of his surrender to the Father's will. In the garden, his soul found peace in this prayer. Father, take this cup away from me, but not as I will, but as you will it. In the death of his soul, Jesus believed that his life, his choice, his actions were in harmony with the Father's will. And that was the very source of his peace. So the peace that Jesus brings to us is not so much the absence of the cross, trials, suffering, problems, and conflicts. Rather, the peace that Christ brings is the presence of faith in God's providence, obedience and surrender to God's will. It's the presence of compassion, mercy, virtue, integrity, and fidelity before God. In the midst of injustice, conflict, and suffering, this is the kind of peace that allows one to sleep at night. And even to embrace death with serenity and calm. My brothers and sisters, where do we find our peace and serenity if we can find it in material things wealth and power and fame how come there are many billionaires who are unhappy famous people who have troubled lives powerful dictators who have fallen in shame the truth is we find our true peace only in God. St. Augustine realized this when he said that our hearts will always be restless until they rest in God. Our hearts will always be restless, will have no peace until it, it rests in God. My brothers and sisters in Christ, may we learn to pray as Jesus did, Father, not my will, but yours be done. It is in our surrender to God's will 
when our lives, our choices, our actions are in harmony with God's will, can we find true peace and serenity in the depths of our souls? True peace and serenity which the world cannot give nor take away. this time, I invite all of us to profess our faith in the Most Holy Trinity by responding, I do, to the following questions. I invite those who are in your homes to do the same. My brothers and sisters, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered dead and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church, and we are proud to profess it. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. We know that God will never abandon us, and so we cry out with our needs and the needs of the world, knowing that we will be heard. For the church, our Pope, bishops, and priests, may they continue to lead and guide us to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For our government leaders, civil servants, and law enforcement, may God help them serve, act, and decide for peace, justice, liberty, and the well-being of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessing on our country, for peace and healing and reconciliation, and for the victims of the shooting in Indianapolis, and for the peace, consolation of their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nativity, parents, and school families, our ministries, volunteers, and staff, may we remain connected in communion and united in faith, prayer, and in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For, for all of you watching in your homes and in union with us spiritually, may God bless and protect you with health, peace, faith, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those receiving their confirmation and First Communion this Easter season, may they receive the graces and gifts of the Spirit to become bold witnesses and disciples of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear for the intentions in our website prayer wall, for our priests and parishioners, the deceased and sick in our community, for Juanita Solis, Salvador Martir, Agostino Antran, Amparo Peña, Ludivina Gagelonia, Joseph Pham, Maria Lu, Ines Magno, Isave Nguyen Tidien, Duong Duk Tan, Salis Galera, Jose Dolores Garcia, Eva Bonfilio, those newly baptized, especially Aurora Verti, those celebrating their birthdays, especially Kishin Pisumal, and those celebrating wedding anniversaries, James and Margie Shahani, Joseph and Terry Cordia, let us pray to the Lord. For our healthcare workers, for those infected with the COVID virus, for the repose of the souls of those who have succumbed to the virus, for Fay Wong, Henry Velasco, Marlene Rodriguez, Sergio Barranco, Willie Arevalo, Warren Conco, Joe Escalera Sr., Letty Pacas, Dennis Menjivar, and peace and consolation for their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
for God's healing on the sick. For Father Dave Ayot, Judith Caguin, Linda May, Filiberto Lucero, Susan Yan, Dustin Matthews, for God's blessing and protection on Mr. and Mrs. Corfia, Francisco Guzman and family, the Montecito neighborhood families, and for those who have lost their jobs or business, may God in His mercy answer their prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we now hold in the silence of our hearts. For all these intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life, you are the source and destiny of our lives. Calm the storms in our lives. Kindle your spirit within us and hear the prayers we offer through your Son, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. On behalf of Father Joseph, myself, our parents and school community, thank you for your continued generosity to our Sunday offering. Sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of the church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but that in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. 
and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing forever together the unden unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, our Auxiliary Bishops and all priests and deacons. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her faithful spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ.
command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And your spirit. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, 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 everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be heard.
I am very pleased of you who are participating in your homes to make your spiritual communion with our Lord at this time. Just invite our Lord Jesus to come into your heart, mind, and soul into your life. And just talk to Him from your heart. upon your people and grant we pray that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen. just a few announcements before the final blessing St. Anthony and San Gabriel are hosting a vaccination clinic this coming Friday and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you are 18 and above and a resident of L.A. County, you are eligible for this Pfizer vaccination. You need to bring a photo ID during vaccination. If you want to be vaccinated, Please call the parish office. Our staff will assist you in the registration. We also have some volunteers who are reaching out to our families. If you get a call from one of our volunteers, uh, we are trying to reach out to you to see if you want to be vaccinated. So uh, it's not a fraud phone call. If you are not sure, always call the, the parish office. But we have volunteers making phone calls for this vaccination. Last year, we raised need to raise needed funds for our parish. We had our November fest, which was very successful due to your overwhelming support and the generosity of our ministries and volunteers. As a follow-up, we are having a May fest event on May 23 to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Like before, we are doing a parish raffle and food takeout sale. The grand prize for the raffle is 2,000. The different food items you can order for takeout will be published in our website this coming week. The raffle tickets have already been mailed Please help our parish in selling or purchasing these tickets. Also, by an honest mistake, a few of the envelopes that were mailed contained the raffle tickets from last year. <laughs> so please check your tickets. If it says Christ the King, uh, that means that that was an error. Because uh, our ticket now says the Feast of the Pentecost. So please return them to the parish office so we can replace them. Uh, it, it was only a few uh, envelopes, but still, it was an honest mistake. Again, thank you for your dedication and support of our parish church. Our Friday confessions and adoration will resume this coming Friday. Good. And welcome back, Father Joseph. Father Joseph had his time off this week, so... Uh, he looks very refreshed. 
<laughs> I invite Father Joseph to uh, uh, join me in blessing our people with the Easter blessing. Please respond, Amen, after its blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of mighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Nourished and strengthened by the Mass, let's go in peace to love and glorify God with our lives. Thanks be to God.
Cease to worship.